funny and just a, another illustration as to this kind of solidifies or maybe lends a lot of credence to my theory that cancel culture only really exists if you're not liked i think for the most part if you're well regarded and people tend to um enjoy whatever product you put out there um or just your overall presence on the social media platforms i think you do get the benefit of doubt in a lot of situations that more, most people wouldn't and you can see that again in football right you, you see that with messi messi's going through a situation now barcelona where for all intents and purposes he's essentially going on strike he's refusing to train he's refusing to have his um he's refusing to take a covid19 test in order to train for the first place he's refusing to train anyway um he's essentially let the team know that he's not going to play for barcelona again and he's forcing the club to essentially sell him for free and considering you know if you've read but Messi's story you know uh, you know as much as Messi's done for Barcelona they've done even more so for him right bringing him over covering all these medical bills due to his health complications and all sorts of matter of stuff and they've, they've just essentially laid out the red carpet from ever since he arrived um, at Barcelona so for him to suddenly now decide hey I want to leave but leave under these circumstances makes you think Jesus Christ this is a real scumbag move but if you looked at the media you wouldn't get that impression you'd think oh it's just a guy that has given 20 years of service for a club that wants to go and the club should kind of um, do right by him and let him go under any circumstances, which isn't the case really, right? Barcelona are, are business, they have money to make, they have shareholders to keep um, happy and, you know, whatever, they're, they're a business. They can't just allow one of their prime assets or their prime assets just walk out of the door for free. But the reaction online, the reaction via the media, you'd be led to believe that Messi has done nothing wrong um and again that's what i said i think counter culture does not apply if you're liked and this is another good example of it this is um, a story from sky news or something that's kind of popped over, off on the timeline um over the weekend uh apparently adele has been accused of cultural appropriation because she posted a picture of herself you know kind of paying homage to not Hill carnival which of course was meant to be this weekend in the uk or this past weekend and unfortunately due to covid19 it has been postponed or cancelled until the new year and you know it's a it's just a traditional um knees up in the uk for the most part um, everyone tends to kind of put on their best caribbean inspired outfit or they tend to kind of let their guard down and allow some big burly black guy to rub their genitals you know against their buttocks but whatever it may be everyone kind of back everyone sort of bends a knee and kisses the ring in terms of acknowledging the influence of caribbean culture within music and within culture you know in itself within the uk and it's not really a big deal you know you see loads of girls with braids and um hoop earrings and big boots and you know jean shorts and for the most part if you if that's what you do if you're a if you're a caucasian and you tend to have wide hips or you have a bit of a two-step on you, or you tend to have some massive jugs and you want to get a bit of attention, Carnival is definitely a place for you to go to because, you know, you're definitely going to bump into a couple of guys who, you know, who kind of pride themselves on being able to take down um, the biggest, strongest Amazonian-type Caucasian woman that they can find. And again, Adele's not that person because she's lost a ton of weight, so she's a bit of a skinny mini at the moment. But it's just funny to see um, how outsiders who not not necessarily been to Don your carnival are treating seeing somebody that doesn't necessarily look black a donning black attire in their eyes and getting outraged by it but it's also going to show that she's getting the benefit of the doubt because she's adele and people tend to like her if it was anybody else imagine if this was jamila jamil or somebody that people don't like or if this was god forbid this was katie hopkins imagine the the, the kind of um you know the attacks that she'll be getting so this is from Sky News says stars defend um, Adele against cultural appropriation claims after singer shares photo in Bantu Nuts, and she you know, she looks pretty scary here, isn't it? I don't know if, I don't know if she looks like she even wanted to take the picture. I'm not sure if this is a candid image or if it's just something that she was um, not expecting to take or she's trying to take the piss. I don't know, but she doesn't look the most um, cute, I'd say, in this image here. But that's for another time. It says um, high profile black figures including Naomi Campbell and MP David Lammy. Ooh, when you, that's when you know you've definitely. Um, you're definitely a friend of the blacks isn't it? when you've got David Lammy and Naomi Campbell backing you have defended Adele claims of culture appropriation the Tottenham born singer attracted criticism from some fans after sharing a photo on Instagram showing her Jamaican flag bikini top and her hair and bantu nuts alongside the image which was taken the singer's Beverly Hills Garden um, she wrote happy 
happy what could have been on your carnival my beloved london blah 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 and then david lammy here saying poppycock this humbug totally misses the point of not in your carnival and the tradition of dressing up or masquerade adele was born and raised in tottenham she gets it more than most uh thank you adele for good the haters i don't see what being born and bred in tottenham has to do with putting on bantu uh knots and wearing that because again if this is that chicken shop girl She'd be getting ripped to pieces, isn't it? And don't get me wrong, the chicken shop girl is a bit annoying and her show's dead in it. But let's be fair, in it? Let's be fair. You're just saying this because you like the girl. In 2020 edition of the uh, West London traditional celebration of the Caribbean and black culture took place remotely for the first time in its 50 year history due to coronavirus and Adele was clearly keen to celebrate from her home in LA. So this is in LA. Fair enough. Um, but it was a 32 year old star decision to wear Bantu nose, an additional African um, hairstyle in which the hair is twisted into a series of small coiled bands that led some to denounce the singer's choice of costume. One Twitter user wrote, If 2020 you couldn't get any more bizarre, Adele has given us Bantu nose and cultural preparation that nobody asked for. This officially marks um, all this officially marks all the top white women in pop as problematic. Hate to see it. Another said, if you haven't quite understood cultural appropriation, look at Adele's last Instagram post, she should go to jail, no parole for this, which of course I think that person's, you know, being a bit, um, you know, being a bit hyperbolic, that's kind of a Tim Diller response, right? Jail, right? Throw them in jail, uh, throw away the key. Writing in the comment section of an Instagram post, a user said, Bantu knots are not to be worn by white people in my context, period. My Bantu knots are not your culture, right? It's like that. Is it that, that was the one, right? With that Asian, that Asian outfit in America, right? My my dresses are not my, are not your Halloween costume. Like this is absolutely imagine this is this is the capital R word in <coughs> considering everything that we're going through as a society, right? Economically personally mentally spiritually for you to get your hair in a knot right no pun intended over Adele wearing bantu knots and a Jamaican bikini is really nuts you know really nuts and again you'd have to justify it by saying she's from Tottenham and she puts gun fingers up when she argues it's just whatever in it I couldn't give a toss um, Ernest Owens is going again here, continues responding to the reports about a backlash Labour MP Tottenham. David Lammy wrote, of course, we saw that. Commenting on the singer's Instagram original post, supermodel Naomi Campbell, whose mother was born in Jamaica, commented with two love heart emojis and two pictures of the Jamaican flag. Look, I love Naomi Campbell, right? But pff, uh, are we really going to like, I don't know, the the black experience is an interesting one, isn't it, right? Because if you're telling me that Naomi Campbell was anything in similar, anything has anything in common with your regular girl on road from Tottenham, then you are smoking something that I would like to have a puff on. Like there's no relation to these people whatsoever, right? Apart from the skin color that they share. Um, don't get me wrong, the culture is rich. Um, not in your carnival is something that's ingrained um, within British society, forget even London, right? Um, especially when you consider the amount of um, Caribbean people that came to the UK, right? First immigrants, I think for the most part, right? Or the first, um, Af or the, yeah, they were the first black people that actually that arrived here in the UK. So their history here is rich. It's literally part of the fabric of Britain. But come on man like Naomi Campbell is not the voice of the streets like I love the woman right I love her Instagram videos I love her YouTube channel but she's not the voice of the streets she really isn't X Factor winner Alexander Burke also stuck up for Adele telling the BBC Curd Carnival tribute show isn't that Alexander Burke always complaining about her being treated badly because she has uh, afro hair or something and now she's sticking up for Adele it's like you can't write this script man you really can't when you like somebody you just make all the excuses in the book he says I see the pic she looks hot she's obviously been working on her body that for me is a big deal she's looking good okay of course you want that out you want that single you want that writing credit fair enough as a jamaican girl myself my girl has grown up in black culture people forget she's from tottenham <laughs> people forget she's from tottenham so what man so bloody what <laughs> what is this about from tottenham adele's like adele's like the what adele's like the singing version of rachel dolezal so if, if rachel dolezal was from the hood would it have made her better would it have made her kind of deception that more sweeter would they have made her a deception that more believable if she was actually born on i don't know in compton or she was born in somewhere um in some mad getaway area in atlanta would that make it more acceptable this is insane again you move the go post based on people that you like it is what it is um 
she's saying uh, she probably eats jerk chicken all the time like all of us this is horrendous so cringe this is like what um when hillary clinton says she got hot sauce in her bag isn't it um all i'm saying is that this girl looked good leave her allow her man if pop khan is going to endorse it and says yes my girl you're wearing the flag and you're wearing it well let her live let it's her best life let her live leave we love adele of course we all love her but i'm sure i'm sure as shit if we saw pictures of fucking sam smith frolicking around the beach somewhere wearing a really skimpy um speeder with jamaican flag emblazoned on it covered in some sort of gold paint people would be going nuts 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 um and again popcorn endorsing it is what it is fair enough you know what i mean he, he's from yard so if popcorn says it goes it goes um but this is just funny the response many of the single celebrity friends also shared reports of jamaican musician popcorn shared the first emoji and love heart and westworld actress tessa thompson commented with a flame emoji guys of the galaxy star zoe Salander wrote you might look right home girl u.s comedian chelsea handler said oh yeah baby honestly the, the bar the, the the bar of approval from fellow women on social media is so low this picture fair enough maybe it's her just showing off her body and she's obviously got good you know body fat um weight loss gains but in terms of an image it's not the most you know it's nothing to write home about if this is the image you're going to get all happy about and say goals and flame emojis at the bar for like getting any kind of approval from your fellow uh from your fellow sisters in the in the industry is low as hell in it she didn't have to do much she's got like a pair of what what are they like lululemon pants that she's you know she was obviously halfway through doing something else and decided to put on this outfit it's not even like the final it's not even a final reveal right it's like the kind of you know bts shot and people are already going crazy over it it's really really insane um yeah. Many fans also had positive words to say about her choices. One writing to all the ignorant non Jamaicans dragging Adele, supporting Jamaican culture. Sit down, you don't speak for us. Fair? We are proud of Adele. Enough respect to her. Everyone, everyone is bloody. Who would have known this woman that sings about, you know, sings about heartbreak and how many times she said hello would be such a beloved figure within the black community another said how are non-jamaicans getting mad at adele when jamaicans aren't even getting mad themselves this is normal carnival attire let adele sing hello upon the other side which is funny uh, while the third commented i'm jamaican i don't mind this at all you, we have bigger problems to worry about the internet is a cesspool of people getting too much thoughts having too much thought sorry go vote register vote focus on your mental health this is a non-issue yeah that's that's a fair enough assumption but we have to also come to the conclusion that it, counterculture only exists if you're not liked man so if you're out there and you're not liked make sure definitely watch your p's and q's but i did like the response in general i do think people kind of swept this under the rug in a good way i think people are trying to turn this into a story and it's not really a story um but especially when you see some of the responses on social obviously david lammy had some this thing worse to say about her this person said dear black americans we love bantu not and don't think jamaicans are complaining about the bikini deal with your insecurities and leave it alone which is really true definitely did show us the disparity in terms of um racial representation between you know people in europe i'd say and then uh i guess black people within north america there's a completely different way that how they view culture appropriation of course they have you know especially based on their history of slavery you can definitely understand why and yeah another person said adele mad made an african hair africans are not angry she wore jamaican flag jamaicans are cool with it i'd like to know who exactly gave um aa people the right to be angry on behalf of every black person in the world which is true and again goes to show the kind of um, chasm that exists between africans and african-americans right there's a completely different experience that they go through and just in general you know people kind of swept that under the rug another one here black americans tried to cancel adele for making african hairstyle and wearing jamaican flag will forever be funny while africans are praising her and jamaicans are happy she did it these black americans are really starting to be bitter bullies which i can definitely agree on so yeah what do you think man um is Adele culture appropriating? Is she no better than Nina Kravitz, Sam Devine, and all the other whiteies out there that have been putting on braids, Kim Kardashian, all that sort of malarkey? Or is she getting special dispensation because she's well liked and people, you know, tend to like her albums and like how she carries herself? Um, let me know in the comments below.